hello and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start working on our menus so right here let's create a canvas let me actually go back to the scene view right here we have this canvas and inside this canvas we will add all of our menus so let's name this as menus canvas and in here let's add a ui panel okay and let's name this panel as pause menu right here let's make the color black okay and we can change the values from there if you want okay as you can see we will leave this as 100 so when the pause menu appears the game will pause and the screen will be then a little bit darker like that so we have the pause menu now inside this pause menu let's add a ui button and let's name this as resume button then in here we have this text so the text will be resume let's add a font to it and then make this bold the font size will be 25 and let's color this fully black okay after this let's click on this right here in the normal color make this fully black and make this a value 0 now as you can see here is our resume button after that change the highlight color to fully black and make the a value is actually the transparency make this 80 and you can actually set this by your own let's make the press value as 159 or 160 if you want and then everything else will be the same okay then inside this text let's add a component which is by the name of shadow and inside this shadow let's make the effect distance x5 and the y distance minus 5 and now you can see this beautiful shadow behind the text right there okay so now we have the resume button let me actually make the aim canvas and the third person canvas disabled so that we can see it Okay, here is the resume button now. Let me see this in the full screen. Okay, we need to move this a little bit upwards. So right here, let's turn on the gizmo so that we see our canvas. Here is the button. Let's move it right there. Okay, and then let's duplicate this. Move this other one down below to there now change the name to menu button and in there change the text to menu it will be bold but the font size this time will be 20 and actually let's make its color now white and also make this text color white as well okay after this let's duplicate this one now and move it down below let's name this as quit change the button name as well to quit button so this will be our pause menu after the pause menu we want the end game menu okay when the zombie kill us then we want to show a menu there as well so let's just duplicate this pause menu now let's activate the duplicate one okay and change its name to end game menu and on the end game menu what we will do we will change the first button to restart and also change the text in here to 
restart as well and that's it the other things will be the same now we have these two menus the next menu will be the objectives so let's name this as objectives and we can actually remove these buttons for now and we will work on these objectives in the future videos so for now create it but leave it as empty okay just leave the black panel on it so with our menus created now in the next video we will type the script for this menus okay so catch you guys in the next one